And we're back for our let's play of uh, The Last Door Season 2. Last time we uh, poked around the graveyard, talked to the priest, some other stuff. Should probably check out the cliff of the abandoned thing of it, Jake. Mr. Wright's old summer house. These rocks look like the remains of a landslide. Glad that's open. The roots of this venerable tree tightly grip the rocks and anchor it against the harsh winds. Good to know. Tells of this hole. Hmm. What was that? You know what? We don't need to know what that was. Nope, nope, we'll just investigate the collapsing building. No big deal. An empty wardrobe. Its woods rotted from long exposure to the sea air. This landscape shows how it was before the landslide ruined it. Trash, trash, trash. There's a peculiar indentation in the stone. Trash, trash. That side of the cliff is heavily exposed to harsh she winds and waves. Is there nothing around here? The foundations of the house are heavily damaged. I must proceed with utmost care. Could collapse at any time. Well, nothing here yet, it seems. Hmm. Well, back to check on Mr. Dr. Kaufman for a. He, he, he's okay, give or take. I discovered that Professor Wright's family once owned a house on the cliffs. According to one of the locals, Professor Wright almost died as a young man when the family summer house was destroyed by a landslide. Hmm. A house next to the sea. A landslide. Begging your pardon, but Nick Wakefield, but the answer is obvious, is it not? During the session, the Professor said that the entrance of the tunnel was through a waterfall not of water, but of rocks and mud. It's too similar description to be coincidence. I theorize that the entrance of the tunnel is concealed somewhere in that house. I'll let you rest. Thank you, my friend. <coughs> sorry. Uh, uh, why am I coughing when he is already coughing? Uh, I'm sorry. That's poor voice talking. I don't know. The main door is closed from the inside. I'm sorry, why? Not going in the basement, that's for sure. Would this door open before? I don't think it's... Oh no, this is new. This is new. A cage covered with an embroidered cloth. The end of phrase is written on it. So there will call. Well, that ain't spooky in the slightest. No bird. Good to know. Simple wooden wardrobe, nothing of interest in here. Good oh boy. There's a closed chest here. There's a key in it. A yellow key. Okay. Wait, I think we got a second bird cloth. A coat stand. Thought we could take the hat or something, I don't know. <sighs> Who locked this door? I don't know. It's locked. Hmm. 
Why is it so dark in here? Wait. Could this be? No. One open. Still. Something is going on here. Doors closed with a key. Professor Wright is not here. Still snowing outside. Professor Wright's dressing gown and slippers. What's going on here? What's going on? Large wardrobe. A journal! There's an open book on the floor. The Book of Birds. It's a compilation of legends related to birds. Some of the text has been marked. The birds were traveling to meet their king when they reached a crossroads. The wretched crow tried to lead them astray and onto the path of mists. Many birds followed him and were lost forever beyond that veil. Only the wisdom of the crested hoopoe and the prudence of the red feathered robin could lead the remaining 28 back to the path of righteousness. Ever since the birds have sung their praise, for without the hoopoe and the robin, silence would have fallen forever. Wait a tick. Wait a tick. I think I know what to do with these two sheets now. Fire's out. How'd this happen? No, I got that one already. Sorry. Hmm. The Hoopo and the Robin. Ah, uh, it's a bit brighter here. Hoopo had a crest on it. Oh. Feathered crest. Now we're looking for the robin. The bird inside grows suddenly quiet. Blackhead, orange grass, crow. Long-legged bird. Bird's tail brown. Yellowish brown feathers. Red feathers, here you go. The bird inside grows suddenly quiet. All the birds have suddenly stopped their chittering. Sounds like someone at the door. Well, shit! The door's been opened. I'm warning you, whoever you are, I got a lantern. That means fire. And I can bash it over your head, because it's got fire. It'll probably hurt, because it's also made of metal. Holding fire. <sighs> yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Whoa. Mother of God. Oh God, Mr. Wright. Poor man. Looks like his heart gave out on him. His eyes. My God, they're fixed with an expression of utmost terror. I see. Is this a clinch? He's holding on to something. Some kind of stone figurine. Holding it tightly as if he's protecting it from someone. Figurines beautifully carved, but appears to be one half of a larger artifact. What happened to him? I've seen death before, but never has a body left me so ill at ease. I, I'm trembling. Windows open. Cold wind blows into the room. 
An old wardrobe. A cheerful scene that would have lifted my heart any other day. Stands in stark contrast to the tragedy that's befallen this house. There's a thin layer of dust rack on the, dust on this coat rack, but not on the coat. Oh, nice. He put away his stuff before he died of a heart attack. This is serious. I must break the news to Kaufman. Of course, the local authorities will have to be informed. Yeah, but I want to investigate the bookshelf first. Come on. Kaufman! What's the matter? Kaufman! Do not worry. I've given him a mild sedative. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Armitage. The innkeeper called me because he was worried about your friend. Pleased to meet you. I'm Dr. Wakefield. What are Kaufman's symptoms? Strong coughing. General feebleness. Dizziness. It's too soon yet for a diagnosis. But could be a simple cold. But the sudden onset and severity of his symptoms is certainly a concern. He must be monitored for the next few hours at least. Do not worry, Dr. Wakefield. I'll remain here and take care of your friend. Doctor, this is far from my specialty, but do you think it could be something more serious? It's too soon to know. Let us wait and see how his condition develops. Kaufman's asleep. He breathes heavily and looks very pale. Oh boy, tuberculosis. Everyone loves it. Eh. Back to the bookshelf with the dead guy. A few books on classical theater. That's it? Classical theater? <sighs> what else is here? Oh yeah, the statue thing out back. Like, I forgot about those, because I... Needs... Had the... the things... I don't know. Yeah, there we go. This was a while ago. Central statue is hit its position, and the clay vessels fall into the ground. Clay vessel old by a statue is now broken into many pieces. There's an object among them. Must have been inside. Looks like a compass. Must be broken since it doesn't point north. Hmm. Before I move path to the grave will be cleared. Hmm. Doesn't seem to point north, but simply random directions. I think we'll be back next time. Well, the church is closed again. Figured I'd return this picture back to the preacher, but like, uh, you know, it's closed. Whatever. <laughs>